Hello everyone, my name is Erin Manning. According to a, uh, a study done by my, Dr. Michael McGuire, cybercrime made over $1.5 trillion in profit in 2018. According to Cybersecurity Ventures, cybercrime uh, will cost uh, rolled, uh, $6 trillion in 2021. According to the Cy uh, Insurance Information Institute, there were 1,473 data breaches in 2019. This speech will be uh, about information security and the impact it has on everyone's life. I've done some research into this subject and uh, also some of my uh, classes have been related to it, so I have uh, some uh, personal knowledge of the subject. Uh, two, uh, two of the uh, main types of attacks are uh, active and passive. In an active attack, uh, the attacker affects the computer, changing it or causing a malfunction to it. Uh, one of the examples of this would be a virus, which means software that is made to copy itself on a com each computer it gets onto, it, and so it spreads easily. Uh, and a, and there would be denial of service attack, which means when a uh, computer uh, makes many uh, uh, requests of another computer, like a server, which overloads it and may causes it to fail, which denies access to uh, all the users that would normally have access to it. And our uh, type is a man in the middle of attack, which means uh, someone poses as one of the parties in a communication organization by intercepting and changing data to make it look like they're uh, someone who has a who nor should have access to it. Uh, in a passive attack, information is taken from a computer without causing damage or affecting uh, its operation, so it's more difficult to detect. One example of this would be eavesdropping, which means using traffic analysis to observe messages being uh, passed between computers. And there would be wiretapping, which means recording phone calls, re location data, and IP addresses of uh, users that uh, visit websites and uh, things like that. Uh, Another uh, thing would be a keystroke logger, which is a software which records and uh, transmits uh, information on, on which keys are pressed on a keyboard. So it would, pro it would probably record things like passwords and usernames and uh, things like that. And another uh, type is of attack is phishing, which means an email which looks like it's from a legitimate source like a bank or, or financial organization asking for sensitive information such as uh, passwords, uh, credit card information, social security numbers. Uh, attackers get malware onto computers by website uh, claiming user has a virus and they click on the button to uh, take the, uh, the virus off of the computer to fix it and that downloads the virus or malware onto their computer. Uh, in, uh, identity theft means a criminal uses personal information from others to make purchases or commit fraud using another person's name. Uh, in 2013, the Yahoo breach was the largest uh, breach in history, with 3 billion users affected, according to Cybersecurity Ventures. Uh, 2017 was the worst year for cyber attacks uh, with 1,632 data breaches, according to Inf Insurance Information Institute. 2017, uh, the AgriFats breach was one of the largest uh, in history with 145 million, million uh, users having their uh, data exposed. The 2019 Capital One breach had uh, 100 million uh, users affected by it. In 2018, the public lost $1.48 trillion uh, to uh, fraud. The uh, victims are usually protected by their bank or credit card companies uh, from uh, losses affected to uh, fraud, but 3.3 uh, million uh, people had lost some of their money to fraud in 2018. Uh, so there are many ways to protect yourself from uh, from uh, cyber attack. These include antivirus software, which finds and removes malicious software. Another would be two-factor authentication, 
which uh, prevents access to people from people who have your password by requiring another access to another computer to prove that who you are. Alternative methods of authentication include fingerprint sensors, facial recognition, and retina scans. These are all re re reduce reliance on passwords, which can be found through other uh, means. You should also update your computer regularly because they, they send uh, uh, the developers and out security updates regularly each time a new vulnerability is found. You should uh, you can also use a VPN, a virtual private network, which encrypts all the traffic coming to and from your device off the internet and sends it through a remote server so uh, it can uh, help. Uh, protect your privacy. In conclusion, all of these, uh, this shows that there are many uh, ways that uh, people can cause problems with uh, to your computer by uh, computer in many ways. But uh, if you use uh, ways to protect yourself, you can uh, help uh, prevent any harm occurring to you. Thank you for listening to the speech.